Hi, have a look at this Microsoft or Power Automate community forum. Here the user is asking about how to modify output from a combos action step. So I believe here the user is trying to clean up a text, uh, removing some of the extra characters like uh, left square bracket and the right square brackets. And then also there are some blank, remaining blank spaces also. Okay, so how to uh, tackle this? So let's have a look at the flow then. So here I'm using a manual trigger and then I'm going to add a compose action step. Okay, so I'm going to replicate the similar kind of by a value here what user was saying url defense.com slash v3 https so is any spaces there before yeah there are some spaces before also so let's put some enter key there couple of enter keys and then i'm going to put left and right square bracket then https slash slash url defense.com slash v3 slash uh, test okay so how to clean up this so for cleaning up the text what we need to do here is we can use the expression called replace okay so for replacing the text what we want is click on the dynamic content then take the output from the previous step comma then the old text the old text we want is the left square bracket then comma then two blanks Okay, so that will clean up the clean up the left square bracket. So let me save this flow, and uh, I'm going to run this and see what result we are going to get. Okay. Right. So here it is. So we managed to remove the left square bracket. So how to remove the next right? square bracket you can do two ways this you can add another compose and then again use the similar expression replace this time the output of the compose 2 we want then comma then two single quotes the old text is this right square brackets then make it blank two uh, two single quotes Okay, let's see this. Here it is. See, that's removed also now. What you could do is, you could do everything in one also here. So, what you could do here is, this is the first replace. So, using the same output from that replace, you could do another replace here. Then, comma. See the old text? So, that's a square bracket then comma then two square brackets then bracket update that so we are going to we are using two replace here so that means you know i don't need to use this combos three now this step let's see that see so you can use in one, uh, you know, the expression within the expression, you can use it. But you need to be a little bit careful about the syntax. That's all it is. Okay. So that's the syntax for that. Now, how to remove the enter keys here? So still, uh, we can see the enter key here. So what we could do here is I'm going to use a compose here again. And place the cursor inside and press the enter key. Okay. That's the enter key added. Then what I could, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, another compose. Take the output of the compose 2. That's what we want here. So in the expression again, we are going to use replace. 
take the output of the compost to output which which is now remove the left and the right hand square brackets then the old text is the enter key which is the compost 3 then so that's output of the compost 3 okay so that's what you need to do there comma then uh, to uh, you know single quotes click ok that so that's the blank that's enter key and the combos too we can see there are too many enter keys here so finally final combos four see there is nothing there it's just that text we got okay Suppose you got, um, we have some spaces also here. So how to remove that? So what we could do here is, we could add another function, compose, okay, and expression. You can have, again, um, trim. So what trim is going to do is trim, uh, it trims the leading and the trailing white space. And so, trim the output from the compost four. Click OK that. So that means it should remove this space and this, this white spaces. So let's see then. That's what trim is going to do. See, that's done. So, you know, that, this is a technique you can uh, use it to clean up uh, the text using the replay statement. And um, if you want to use the trim, you can use the trim as well to remove the leading and the trailing white spaces. Okay. And also remember, I have used, uh, you know, um, expression within the expressions. So you can use, uh, you know, you can have multiple uh, expressions again here, like replace. You know again with another replace you know or you could you could have trim the output of that you can use like that also you know so there are different ways you could use it so if you're a beginner you know try to separate with different different combos action steps and see how the, how how it works you know once you get the hang of it you can just put everything in a one expression you know uh, that's another way of doing it hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching.